Good job. That little device right there is what automatically engages the front axle when you put it in low range. Now, this truck is going to spend a lot of time in low range when we're giving our tours. But I have no need and no want of the front axle pulling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable that, which is very simple to do. It's that washer you can see right here. As that shaft moves back, it flips it and that engages the front axle. I'm going to take that washer, take the whole shaft out, take that washer off, you know, remove it entirely, put it in a shelf or something, and then when I engage low range, it'll, it'll only be the rear axles and the front axle will not be bound up. If I need the front axle, I can always engage it off the dash. If it's necessary, I can flip it up there, but it's not necessary for what I'm doing. It'll actually just get in the way. I need the speed, I don't need the traction. This way, when I'm running on hard packed gravel or whatever it is I'm operating on, even if I was doing a parade, having that removed means that you could operate in low range on parade grounds, assuming you don't have lockers. And, and you're talking about the parade? I did, was talking about the parade we just did. And rather than riding the brakes in first gear, like I did in the last parade, you just leave it in low. So I'm going to get that shaft out, cotter keys, and a pin. So pull the cotter key, pull the cotter key, drop the pins out, pull that shaft down, then disassemble it, reassemble it, and you're golden. Alright, now that I got the cotter pins out, should just be able to pull these pins. I hope that linkage doesn't flop around. No, not too bad. in either direction. I might as well just do this right here. Just that back up. Thickness of the washer. There we go. And now I'll put it back together. It is as simple as that. So once again, my linkage will no longer automatically engage my six-wheel drive. You'd be surprised how not helpful you're being right now. My old diesel tree? Isn't it? The one I just made for you? I'm just going to throw out there that contrary to popular opinion, that I see on so many things, there is no need to fold your cotter pins all the way back on themselves, unless they somehow interfere with things. All you're doing is making it harder for yourself and the, the next guy who's got to come in after you. This has been removed. Now, this little switch will no longer lock up the transfer case. At least I can hear it working in there. We'll no longer lock up the transfer case and we'll no longer put the truck in six wheel drive when I drop it into low range. But I will still be able to do that with the switch on the dash. Now, oh, I can pull somebody out of the ditch I could back up a hill and making a sharp turn. I could do all sorts of things with no fear in low range.